Hello my fellow book addicts, Megan here, and it's time for another book review. Today, I'm going to be talking about Sweet Peril by Wendy Higgins, and this is book two in the Sweet series. So, I really don't have too much to say without going into spoilers because this is the second in the series, but I will say I thought this was an interesting addition to the series. So yeah, overall it was a good addition to the series, I found it entertaining, it was a nice fast read for me, and it's really all I have to say without giving spoilers. So without further ado, I'm going to go into a spoilery bit, so if you have not read this far in the series yet, highly suggest you click away now and come back after you catch up. So this is unfortunately going to be a short video, because there's really not much I feel I can say about the plot, because most of this book was Anna trying to find allies. She knows that she is this nef from this prophecy that will allow some of the fallen angels, like the dukes, to return to heaven and will hopefully, keyword is hopefully, save the souls of the nef. And it would also send the dukes who don't want to go back to heaven to hell. We still don't know if the souls of the Neph, the Nephilim, are still gonna go to hell when they die or not, but either way, it means the Dukes won't be around anymore, so that's a good thing. So Anna obviously can't do this alone, so basically she's been gathering allies through this book. Her dad's been scouting out other Neph who might be sympathetic to the cause, and when he finds them, he sends Anna and mostly Cope to them to talk about to them and try and win them over. It's all about the allies. I will say that it was kind of a pet peeve how Anna acted in some of this book. Her planning over Kai still. And I admit, her life has been turned upside down. Her life, she has had to change so drastically just to help keep herself alive. So I am sympathetic to that. But some of the times when she was complaining, especially to Kai, I wanted to strangle her. Like yes, this last year has been hell for her, but that is still nothing compared to what Kai and the other Nephilim have gone through their entire lives. Yeah, she's gone through some tough times, she's suffering, but it's still nothing compared to the other Nephilim. She hasn't had to do anywhere near as horrible things that they have had to do. And especially her dad being who he is, she doesn't even have to really, really work full time. The only time she really, really needs to work is when she's being watched. And then the second she's not being watched, she tries to take care of those people who she is manipulated into drinking. So even her kind of half-ass working, while she is still kind of working, isn't as bad as what Kai and Ginger and Blake have had to do. So it just, it angered me on their behalf when it felt like she was trying to put her struggles up with theirs. Especially Kai. Kai, jeez. So yeah, that part kind of annoyed me. It did make me happy that her and Kai have kind of found this common ground. We'll be together only when it's safe. And we will both work. Do what you have to do. I won't hold it against you because we both have to survive. So I do like how they found that common ground. So we didn't have to go through this whole book going through that drama. Or the whole next book going through that kind of drama. Because... Yeah, that kind of drama was getting kind of old to me. So yeah, other than Anna going around trying to find allies, the stakes are getting higher because some of the other dukes are somewhat onto the plan. They're kind of onto Anna's dad to a point and think there's something up with Anna as well. And things in the next book, the stakes are going to be kind of high and I'm excited to see where it leads. I also like how that kind of little love triangle that was going to... Sprouts ended. Now that Kai and Anna are together, love triangle is solved. We don't have to go through another. Well, technically, it was only half this book, but we don't have to go through a whole another book with that hanging over us because love triangles, they need to die. Just, ah, oh, I'm sick of them. Like, I've 
probably stated in multiple videos before, I'm okay with some love triangles, but they have to be done. Uh, I don't know. I'm picky with my love triangles. Some of them I love. Most of them are just like, why did you add this in here? This felt kind of like a, why did you add this in here sort of deal. And yeah, like I said, this is a short one. Don't really have that much I can say since most of the book was Anna just trying to find allies. So there's really not much for me to say. So even with those annoyances I had, I still did enjoy this book. And I still look forward to reading the final book in the series. And yeah, that is it for this book review. And I hope to see you guys next time.